All right, so next we're gonna look at galleries. And this is where some of those cover images start coming into play. So we'll do slash gallery and do a gallery full page. We'll title it gallery example. And again, it has a few pages for us here by default. What we're gonna do is go into these pages though. Um, you can see it put a full simple to-do list in one for us, it has the tags and the created. We can do some things with the properties though. And it's gonna say, what is the preview of the card showing? Right now it's showing a preview of the page content. So that could work. So we go into this card and you know, give it some content and some more. If we go back out, that is the preview of the card. You kind of see a, a peek at what's in there and that can be useful in some cases. A gallery though, you think of as more visual. Let's go into these and let's add a cover image to some of these. So we'll click on cover image, wait for that to load in and we'll just leave it at the default. We'll go to the next one, add a cover image here as well and probably just leave it at the default and go to page three even add a cover image on that one. And again, any cover image you could rearrange, you could you know, change whatever you want to do. But now in here, what we can do is go to properties and change the preview from page content to page cover. And now it's going to show the graphics there instead and show the name of the pages below. And like you saw in different examples, the little icon for the pages shows next to it too. So we see that these two have content inside of them. And that one doesn't. And you could customize the icon, of course, if you wanted to. Also in here, you can change the card size from medium to small to fit more per row. The number of rows will depend on your monitor resolution and if you have the sidebar up and that kind of stuff. Uh, you could also change it to uh, large, just to show giant ones, to fit the image, which will usually make it look a little bit worse, but to keep the original aspect ratio rather than trimming it out. Um, generally, this is kind of a preview, so I like not fitting the image just to make it look better. If I want to see the full image, I could click through to it, but however you want to handle that's up to you. But Again, like everything else, when you get into a card, it's the same as every other database entry you can have. We could create more properties. You could get rid of the tags. You could you know, add content down here, whatever you want to do. But the magic of this is seeing the cards and then the properties to preview with either the cover or the page content or with nothing at all if you want to keep it smaller cards. Um, not a lot of advantage there. That becomes a lot like the Kanban board, but without the ability to drag. So I don't see a lot of benefit there, but there may be cases for it. But I can leave it on page cover typically do it in medium, but there's different cases for, for what size you want to have. Um, and that works pretty well. And then of course here you see properties at the bottom here. You could add some of the other stuff. You could add the created time or the tags there. And again, any other op items you have on each database entry you could show at the bottom of the card there too. Um, again, I think of relatively little value for some of those, but there's some, some good use cases for that as well. So that's a quick look at galleries in Notion.